Learning computer science and working as a software engineer are two very different things. Here are three of the biggest mistakes new grads make in their first month on the job and how to avoid them. Mistake number one, trying to prove yourself too quickly. Now this is totally normal. As a new hire, you wanna show that you belong. But jumping into tasks too fast, creating pull requests without understanding the context, or trying to figure it all out on your own can make you seem like an amateur. Instead, slow down. Spend time reading the code base and ask thoughtful questions. Maybe even ask a teammate if you can shadow them. Trust is built through communication, not speed. Mistake number two, staying silent when you're stuck. This is one of the biggest things I see with new engineers. They've hit a bug, spent hours trying to fix it, and can't get unstuck. But rather than reaching out for help, they've remained silent and no one knows what they're working on or why it's taking them so long to finish their tasks. Instead, if you've worked on a bug or find yourself stuck for more than 30 to 60 minutes and still feel lost, speak up. Drop a message in Slack, mention it in standup, or ask a teammate for five minutes to pair. The benefit of being a new hire is that no one expects you to know everything on day one, but asking for help will go a long way to show them that you're serious about becoming an expert of the code base. Mistake number three, ignoring the parts of the job that aren't just coding. Working as a software engineer involves writing a lot of code, but that's not all there is to it. You're also expected to attend meetings, write good documentation, review pull requests from your teammates, and communicate well. Rather than only focusing on the code, make it a point to be on time or early to meetings. Even better, have one or two questions or points you can make in those meetings so that you show off how interested you are in the work. Also, leave thoughtful reviews when you're looking at your teammates' pull requests and leave good documentation on your own to make your changes that much easier to understand. Finally, since you're new to the team, consider scheduling virtual coffees with people in your team to get to know them better. It's great to work remotely, but getting to know the person behind the engineer requires a little extra effort, but it will also pay dividends down the road. If you're just starting out, remember, your goal isn't to be perfect. It's to be curious, coachable, and a good teammate. That's what sets you apart.